same steps. So here's our second problem of a finite series, xt and ht are given. Uh, let's plot them to have a better idea. So xt has a value of 1, 1 from 0 to t, from t, 0 to t, it has a value, capital T, it has a value of 1. And ht has a value of t, which is a slope actually, so this value is slope, and the range is from 0 to 2 capital T, so from 0 to 2 capital T, so this is uh, the line for ht. Now, as we saw in the last problem, that we flipped ht and then we slide it towards right and found the overlapped area. Now, in the book, this is what has been done, but to me that looks to be very, very tough to understand and follow. So what I'll do is that I'll flip xt, because this is a simpler signal, and keep this in mind, that whenever you're going to solve a problem, try to flip the simplest signal and uh, drag that. And we can do that. Okay, <clears throat> so these were the two signals, xt and ht. We, and these are the two formulas that we have. We discuss this formula and there is another way of writing this that is in this case we shift x function not h function. So that is what we will do here because h function is difficult in this case. So we will shift the x function. So our arrangement will now be like this. This is ht and here is xt. We will flip this and shift this function. So case number one, or step number one, change the variable from t to top. So everything has now been changed from t to top. Flip one of the signal, that is the, we'll now flip xt signal around x-axis. So from here we flip it like this. So this becomes the flipped signal and since it is in the negative direction, so it will be x minus tau. And now we'll play with these two signals. Move the flipped signal to the left to get xt minus tau. So actually we are adding t here and t here, so it will be t and t minus capital T. So we moved it to the left, it is now t and t minus capital T. And as we did in the first case, uh, first example, if you assume it to be mounted on a trolley, it will be much easier for you to comprehend. So this is T and this is T minus capital T. And now we'll pull the trolley gradually till such time it starts overlapping. Okay, now for T less than zero, so this T or this T less than zero, there is no overlap. So the product will be zero, no overlap and hence the estimated range we can say it is minus uh, infinity to t or zero i'm not very sure what range you will call it but anyway it's minus infinity to zero and then the output from the equation so output will be zero okay now case 2, we have pulled it slightly, now T is between 0 and capital T, so case number 2, T is between 
zero and capital T, you have to look at this T, it literally T. It is between zero and capital T, so that is our first case. And we have some overlap. Here is the overlap, you can see this is the overlap. So our multiplication will be this function, which is tau all the way. So tau multiply by 1, so this is equal to tau. Tau multiply by 1 is tau. So this is the product. And now we estimate the range of the area under the curve. So now this is the area under the curve. This is showing the overlap. What is defined clearly? Zero is defined clearly. So one of the starting point will be zero. End point is not defined here clearly, but it is defined here clearly. It is small t. So our range of tau will be from zero to t. So tau is from 0 to t, that is will be the limit of the integration for the output, so output formula, put the limit of integration, put the value of the multiplication which was tau, integrate, so it will become tau square over 2, put the two limits, so the final answer is half t square. So this is case number 1. Now let's pull it further. So now we have pulled it so that T comes between capital T and capital 2T. So this is our case number 3. The T is between capital T and capital 2T. The overlap, complete overlap of the bottom signal. The slope is still tau and this has an amplitude 1, so the multiplication will be tau times 1, which is tau. So the multiplication of the product gives tau. Now the range of integration, now you can see it is not clear here what is the value, it is not clear here what is the value. But it is clear here that it is T minus capital T and here it is T. So th these two will now be our range of integration. So the range for tau is T minus capital T and the other end it will be T. Okay, so integrate these two are the limits and tau is the value, so we'll integrate so tau square over 2, these two limits, and putting the limit and solving, and solving, and solving, you get the final value. So this is the final value for case number 3. Let's pull it further. Okay, now we have pulled it beyond 2 cap capital T and in between 2 capital T and 3 capital T. So this is here, so the range is now from 2 capital T to 3 capital T. And this is the overlap, the multiplication remains same, tau multiply by 1, so multiplication is tau and now the range of the limit. So let's see this point is not defined so this we'll take as here it is defined clearly so it is T minus capital T but this point is not defined here it is defined clearly here so it is 2 capital T. So our two limits of tau will be T minus capital T to 2 capital T. So this is the limit of the range and now 
we put in the equation these two limits keep in mind this one and this one integrate and solve so the final answer you will get is as shown here one more pull the moment t goes beyond 3t there is no overlap so output will be zero this i have some doubt whether we should write it from 3t to infinity or we should write just when no range but anyway since multiplication is zero therefore the output 